Welcome to Heal Your Life Tuesdays with myself, Antoinette Nirvana. Every Tuesday, one of the lovely Heal Your Life coaches will be offering an interview, article, or inspirational words of wisdom on different topics. Watch the Body and Mind social media every Tuesday. This is a beautiful collaboration between Tracy French of Body and Mind and Ashika Singh of Live Love Coaching Trading Academy. And today we're chatting to one of the key coaches, Marla Pillay, and she's an emotional health, wellness and movement coach. Good afternoon, Marla. How are you doing? Good afternoon. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. And uh, wonderful to, to be chatting to you again and really looking forward to hearing a little bit more about emotional intelligence. Today, Today's topic with the Heal Your Life Tuesdays is going to be remodeling family connection with emotional intelligence. Now that is quite powerful. So tell us a little bit more about this family connection and trying to reconnect with emotional intelligence. Why did I choose emotional health for families? I found that my interaction with clients and workshop attendees have the same repeated patterns. Emotional state responds to our thoughts and belief systems which manifests in the form of our behavior patterns. And it always stems from past conditioning and programming. We have been raised, unfortunately, if our parents knew better, they would have taught us differently. We could teach our children differently. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So we grow up as adults with the same behavior patterns from past. So I use emotional intelligence that gives me the edge and bridges the gap by allowing myself to manage my emotions, clear emotional clutter, and creatively engage my emotional intelligence in a beneficial way. Meaning, every time I engage with families, I need to know that I'm engaging in an emotional intelligent way, and that it's beneficial for myself and the person I'm dealing with. 2019 has been family health, which is my key focus. We look at anger, fear, guilt, resentment, grief, and so many other barriers. These resistances and barriers can easily distort and disrupt so many families all around the world, manifesting into sickness, disease, and mental disorders. So when we struggle to effectively engage with each other, two things generally happen. The level of understanding and accepting of each other. We struggle with that because we all are different. You know, we all are so uniquely different from each other. We continue to struggle with understanding and accepting each other. So why is this a struggle? It's lack of nurturing and self-love. When I take my experience as a single mom, I had to personally experience and understand how family relationships work to learn how to communicate effectively with each other, with my children, and even family members. So it brought me to self-realization that each relationship with each person has a different dynamic to appreciate. The moments of pain and struggles and joy and happiness were the stepping stones in my path to becoming a better mother, a sister, a daughter, and just a person in general, has led me to be the life coach that I am today. Emotional intelligence was the key component in creating healthy relationships in my life. My passion, my drive, and vision as a Heal Your Life key coach allows me to reach as many people as possible with support and guidance around emotional wellness, reducing sickness and disease in all forms. The Heal Your Life platform with Louise Hayes' profound philosophies of life provides us with the dynamic tools and processes to help us be the best version of ourselves and to live our best lives. These simple yet effective tools and processes can be experienced during the powerful two-day transformational workshops in which You will learn how to manage your own emotions and that of others. So my entire life has been around emotions. I'm always challenged by emotions and therefore used emotional intelligence to actually work with other families, gaining physical well-being, mental well-being, and just well-being in general. Emotional intelligence is the way we actually deal with situations that arise. And I found myself with my kids especially. The challenge was as they grew up, they had minds of their own and they would do as they would please. But mom, as usual, with her own opinions and and perceptions about how things should be, would always step into their world, only to find out that 
it wasn't serving myself and it wasn't serving them either. So I had to back off and learn how effective emotional intelligence was in order to make things work in my family. Is there any questions you have for me? Yeah, I constantly find myself, I've got four sisters and I've got my mother and the conflict sometimes with all four sisters. I have done a lot of Louise Hay work as well and I understand I'm not my mother, I'm not my family. It's really not always easy to not get into that reaction sometimes. How do I bring in the knowledge that I have? How do we reduce all of this emotions of past things that keeps on being triggered? That's what actually happens. Okay, the Heal Your Life workshops, they have such a beautiful way to actually bring families together. Every single workshop that I have facilitated has brought something new and beautiful. Amazing enough, you asked, you know, mum, dad, siblings, they always come up in terms of struggles, in terms of sibling struggles. And it's been absolutely incredible this weekend where we see how attendees join us on a Saturday morning with all these issues and leave on a Sunday afternoon completely fulfilled. What is the guidelines around, you know, managing these issues? The beautiful thing is that attendees learn that the most and the key thing to healing from all of these situations is looking at themselves, going within and appreciating what they have for themselves. Because once you do that, and once you learn to love yourself exactly the way you are, you know, there's no struggles with someone outside that. Because everyone is the mirror. Our siblings, our sisters and brothers, our moms and dads are practically mirrors where we learn to control what we have within ourselves. That emotional journey we take is only to realize that when we start to nurture and love ourselves, we tend to understand, you know, what mom and dad might have gone through, you know, in their childhood, or even our brothers and sisters, what they've gone through. In this case, you bring a, an attendee to a place where they fully understand that I am the way I am because of the way I grew up. It's beautiful to know that when they leave, they leave with this feeling of, I appreciate who I am, and automatically they appreciate others in the same manner. And they learn to deal with issues that come up from an emotional perspective, not having to struggle with it. find that it's not something that you can say in an interview or described in an interview. It's very experiential. It is, you've got to take the step into the one before you can step into the next thing. When people ask, but that's too vague what you're saying. I don't understand what you're saying because it really is an experiential weekend because each person, each family dynamic has got its own individual individual things that they need to bring into that group and as you say each attendee will then as they step and get their own realization and each one happens at the, its own pace it might make sense to me but the next person they still haven't got that step to that realization absolutely everyone learns that when you start with self going within loving oneself nurturing oneself you know it becomes easy to understand other people and yes the two-day transformational workshop starts on a Saturday and ends on a Sunday evening. It's a lengthy process. And for each person, the experience is different. So when you're dealing with families, you know, it's exactly the same way. Every family is unique. They may not be the same dynamic as my family. The way you handle families is a sensitive issue. You have to look at the entire dynamics of the family and then go in. Then it's easy to understand what the emotional struggle is. Thank you, Marla. Why don't you give us your contact details as to how people can get in contact with you? 083-421-2009. And your email address? Marla.pele at my emotions.co.za and please can you give us the heal your life website address as well please www.healyourlife.co.za this was an interview with one of the heal your life south africa's keys coaches that has completed over 300 hours in core skills in the craft of life coaching with live love academy this is a global community that has been trained extensively and licensed by louise hay to teach coach guide and support people to transform their lives no matter their circumstances 
Heal Your Life Tuesdays is celebrating this legacy of Louise Hay, who believed that love is the most powerful healing force there is, and it begins with you. And we invite you to be part of the Love Yourself, Heal Your Life community. And we thank you and bless you for all you are and all you do. Thank you very much, Marla. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. Bye-bye.